So as we have said, we were talking about the communication pool. So it's a two-way activity. First of all, it's about listening to, uh, to the stakeholders, which will be your clients or your colleagues and your audience. So uh, you need to know what do they want? What do they expect? What ideas do they have? And in particular, what's the knowledge uh, or what type of knowledge do they have about your subject? So what do they know and what do they don't know? Second of all, communication is about speaking to others, presenting ideas, updating on progress, seeking feedback, sharing your thoughts about possible solutions and promoting and selling your work, regardless of, you, of these settings or uh, what you, you will need to do this. So the research point, it's connected to the need for good communication it's, and it's the importance of research. This is an activity that will exist as a constant running along the spine of your process thinking. You cannot know everything about your subject, about the meaning of your data, about the relevant and the irrelevant uh, qualities it possesses. As you will see later on, data itself, it can only tell us so much. Often it just tells us where interesting things might exist, not what actually explains why they are interesting. You need to pay attention to details. So like note taking, this will be something that might not be a natural uh, trait for, for some, but it is so important. You cannot afford to carry any errors in your work. You have to start every project with that commitment. This is such an important ingredient to, uh, for securing trust in your work. The process you are about to learn is greatly influenced by the concept of aggregation of marginal gains. You need to sweat the small stuff, even if many of your decisions seem small and inconsequential. They deserve your full attention and merit being done right. Make it work for you guys. The only way you will truly find out whether a process works, it's if you have to practice it and you should practice it. As we have stated many times that every project will be different, even in only in small ways. However, if you just cannot get the approach presented, and what you are talking about to fit the personality of purpose, you need to modify it always. So we are all different. Don't feel like we are imposing this single approach. It takes or take it as a proposed framework based on what has worked for me in the past person. So bend it, you have to stretch it, make it work. And as you become more experienced, um, the many duties involved in data visualization design, they will become second nature, by which time you probably will no longer be aware of even observing a process. Always be honest with yourself, with the feedback part, the editing, not doing certain things. Um, they are disciplines of the effective visualizer. So honesty with yourself, it is very vital, especially as you are often working on a solo project, but need so many different skill sets and mindsets. So as you mentioned in the last section, that uh, the starts to embed on quality becomes destructive. So you have to be blind to things that they are not working or not taking on board constructive feedback just because you have invested so much time in something and you will prove to be the larger burden. Don't be afraid to kill things when they are not working. So you need to make those decisions and you should never have to be scared of them. So finally, we go about the learning part. About the learning part, reflective learning is about looking back over to your work. 
and examining the output and evaluating your approach. What did you do well? Um, what would you do differently if you had the chance to? How well did you manage your time? Did you make the best decisions you could or maybe that existed? Beyond the private reflections, some of the best material about data visualization on the web, it comes from people sharing narratives about their designs process. So read how other people, they undertake their challenges and why not maybe share your own? You will find uh, that you truly learn about something when you find the space to write about it and explain it to others. Write up your projects, present your work to others and in doing so, that will force you to think that, why did I do what I did? So you will have the, the answer to that deep question. So with that being said, I end up this second chapter, which was a small one. It's a small chapter and I have concluded it this far. And I will be, um, I'm very okay to receive, of course, whatever concerns that you may have or any questions that you want to ask.